Who am I? Why was I killed? The one who is sure to know the answers to those questions is the man who ordered my murder. At the other end of the phone line is the very man who killed me. Our meeting. It's all so sudden. I'm not sure I'm really prepared for what's to come. Yes, if what I read in this file is true, this woman could be quite a bedeviling bit of, tr of trouble for us. She needs to be erased. Tonight. Confound that nearsighted Jigo. His skills are as feeble as his eyesight. Not to worry, sir. I've already taken the next step. Yes, but I say, the last thing I ever expected was to talk to the target herself. Even if it was only over the telephone. I must admit, my good man, it put me in quite the tizzy there for a moment. What is this place? These oddly luxurious furnishings, this oddly refined music, and that odd little machine. I've never seen a room like this before, but one thing's for sure. These people are assassins. And what's more, that red-headed woman is another one of their targets. That file the old man has, maybe it'll give me some information on the redhead. Oh! It seems this file contains information about that redhead, but I can't read it when it's closed. Great Scott, did you see that? The file, I say, the file reared up and snapped at me, my good man, nearly bit my head off. Not to worry, sir. I've already seen to it that the target, Miss Lynn, is no longer a threat, sir. That's not what I'm talking about, man. Lynn, huh? So that's her name? But this file, it's like it's written in a foreign language. I can't read it at all. Might I suggest putting away the file and relaxing, sir? What the hell? <laughs> you have a very important job ahead of you tonight, sir. Oh, he has thoughts. Darn. This is a pickle. The phone and I and I got put away neatly. And the only thing I've learned is the name Lynn. This sure is a weird room. I traveled through the phone line to get here, but where exactly is here? And who exactly are these people? The lamp. You gad, man, are you trying to give me a case of the vapors? My apologies, sir, but I did not touch it, sir. It appears the equipment is still malfunctioning, sir. Uh, granted, technology is certainly a, a convenient thing, but our use of it is just plain off, confound it. Mm, yes, in any case, I don't wish to see the face of our current target, my good man. As you wish, sir, in this case, might I suggest this, sir? Hey, that's... Yes, Sissel. If all goes well with our deal tonight, we will have the power to change the world, sir. Yes, it's a very important night indeed, my good man. We can't afford to make mistakes, and that's why we can't afford to trust that Sissel. No, we must be very careful. Sissel? That must be my name. Now that I hear it, it does sound familiar. A deal, huh? What could that be about? Just what was exactly what I was I up to? We are completely prepared for tonight, sir. And yes, now all we have to do is pluck the fruits of our success. One thing's clear, these villains seem to know me. And another thing, there seems to be some kind of connection between me and this Lynn. Why else would our names both come up here like this? Lamp. Oh, I can't reach. So how am I supposed- oh, I can get to the bowl- nope, I can't get to the bowl of fruit.
Oh, man. And how do I get down there? Where is your head, man? I told you I don't wish to see this face. My apologies, sir. It seems to be another malfunction, sir. Well, get it fixed, man, unless you want to see me malfunction. Certainly, sir. Oh, I can't do it like when they're doing... Oh. How do I get... I want to get... I want... I want to get down there. These guys murdered me and now they're targeting the redhead. What kind of connection did we have with each other? Why can't I trick the lamp? Spinning this painting around makes the old man's head spin, but that's about it. I've got to find the right timing and get beyond this projector. Oh, that's true. Maybe if I... Mm. Ah. Oh, shit. Aw, oh, man. I think I have to, um, see, I need to get, okay, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I have to do it again. Oh, there you go. Fruit. I say this room is giving me the heebie-jeebies, my good man. What's with the painting spinning around and the like? It's enough to give a man the jitters. My apologies, sir. The room was just completed recently, sir. We're still trying to iron out the kinks, sir. Mm, yes, I just hope that- I hope that's- that's all that is. I mean, egad, man. How am I supposed to relax and enjoy my grapes? It's a miserable state of affairs when I can even be startled by a telephone that doesn't even ring. It's even more pathetic to be startled by the same phone twice. The problem must be solved, sir. The Miss Lynn problem, sir. Lynn? Hmm, yes. You did mention taking the next step a moment ago, didn't you, my good man? Yes, sir. I sent one step ahead Tango to her apartment, sir. That telephone call must be him reporting in, sir. Very good. Lynn is in danger again. This is one step ahead, Tango. I'm at the, I'm at the target's apartment now. And out with a man. Have you taken care of her? No, she isn't back yet. What? It only stands to reason. If the target got here first, they wouldn't call me one step ahead, now would they? <laughs> I don't get it, but in any case, man, once you've taken care of her, then you'll promote me to the head of the Hitman division? Oh, no, man. Now you're even getting one step ahead of me. We can discuss my new salary later. A great Scott, now you're even getting one step ahead of your last one step ahead. I'll get back to my job now, sir. Confound it, you're even hanging up one step ahead. <laughs> what did he say, sir? He asked me to raise his salary. What will you do, sir? Maybe I'll give him some nearsighted Jigo's pay. I can't lose her. She's my only lead if I ever hope to solve the mystery of me. Oh, wait. How do I move? There you go. Hey, yo, he killed the dog? The telephone line guided me to Lynn's apartment. Fortunately, Lynn isn't here yet, but unfortunately, the hitman is. And there are a couple of other unfortunate little developments waiting for me, it seems. Hmm? It looks like there's an unlucky little lady here tonight. And even and an even unluckier little doggy. The poor brave little warrior. He must have been trying to defend his mistress. I think I think I got up to this part and then I stopped. Either because I think I got confused, or I don't know, my attention span wasn't <laughs> the greatest. But I think this is Missile, right? 
if Lin came home now, I have to do something about this situation and fast. Can I not get to the dog? Huh? Where am I? And more to the point, who am I? Who am I? What? Are you talking to me? Of course, do you see anyone else around here? If I remember right, the dead don't have voices. Their thoughts reach the other person directly. I guess that explains why this dog is talking to me right now. This is your mistress's apartment, and you are... Presumably the little doggy who died here? Died? So I'm dead, huh? Oh, let's see, the dead lose their memories. They even forget what they look like. And so that's what this blue flame shape is all about. Oh! There's no time to lose! Miss Camilla! My Miss Camilla is in trouble! Oh. You mean you remember? You, you know who you are? That's right, I'm Missile! Nice to meet you! I'm a Pomeranian! Oh, well. I guess now I know it's possible for the dead to regain their memories. Thanks to this little doggy. Miss Camilla! Miss Camilla! My Miss Camilla is in trouble and I have to devote my life to p protecting her. But I died before I could rescue her. How could I let her down like this? So you're more worried about your mistress's safety than your own death, huh? I like your moxie, little doggy. Looks like it's time to go back to four minutes before this little guy's death. Time to save his life! Let's see, first of all, I'd better see what I can find out about your death, little guy. Excuse me, but where exactly are we? What? You followed me? I followed you. You brought me with you, one or the other. It looks like the dead can move around together. This is the land of four minutes before your death. Really? We're really here? So that means you're going to save Miss Camilla, doesn't it? Aren't you even surprised? I mean, we just travel through time, and not especially. I mean, Miss Camilla can walk around on two legs, but I can't do that. So she can do that. Then it's not so strange that you can walk backwards through time. So that's the way your mind works? I guess that's reasonable enough. Come on, let's get started. Okay, first we watch your last four minutes unfold. Then we use what we learned to save her. Just like when I was saved. Or when I saved her, the other girl. If we watch closely, we ought to be able to get a few leads. Keep your eyes open. Of course. Leave it to me to sniff out a few clues. Wait, why this Pomeranian got like... <laughs> like Nine-Tailed Fox energy? Freaking Vulpix. That's not a... Oh, well, I guess Vulpix. Or Vulpix is supposed to be a fox, which I guess is technically like a dog. Shut that mud up! No, Missile, you're not supposed to bark. The lady next door is crabbier than ever tonight. If it barks again, I'll knock this wall down. You don't want her to knock the wall down, do you? Why do you like to bark so much anyway? You sure are cute, but just don't get us killed, okay? Darn, I really wanted to watch TV. Oh, I know, I listen to music. Oops. Okay, so I guess she, she couldn't hear him come in. That might be... What happened here? <laughs> I'll knock this wall down! I don't really like it when jobs outside the original scope crop up. I have to put it down as a separate charge, and accounting never likes that. But I guess it can't be helped. Sorry, kid. It 
So that's the whole dramatic story of what happened four minutes before you died. Wow, look at that. I'm dead. I'm kind of shocked to tell you the truth. Okay, let's get started on saving her. But let's see, how are we going to do this? It seems to me the easiest way would be for you to take a big bite of that man's leg. Oh, I don't think I could do that. Whenever somebody I don't know comes around, all I want to do say to them is, Welcome! I can't help it. Okay, then I guess the only thing we can do is get the little lady to help herself somehow. Oh, I don't think she could do that. Did you notice her putting those red things on her head? Red things? Oh, you mean the headphones? Whenever she puts those red things on, that's it. I can call her name until my throat is sore, but she never hears me. To be perfectly honest, I hate those red things. You're right. With those headphones on, our little lady doesn't even hear the sound of the intruder's gun. So maybe that's our first lead. Now we know... Okay, we can do something about that. Okay, so somehow... Okay, I think we have to knock these into the... Oh! Or maybe we have to wait until she picks them up. And then we, like, knock it out of her hand. Okay, let's see what else we could... What is the... Open the door? Or... Well, can't really change the little lady's fate by standing around and watching. That intruder in black will be entering this room in just four short minutes, and my ghost tricks can only get me so far. If I want to save the little lady, I'm going to get have to get her cooperation. And the first step is to get rid of anything that might stand in the way. Oh, she's going to have to, um... Can I ring the phone? I don't think so. Wait, did I open this and then what happened? Oh, nothing happened. I think she, I think I have to wait for her to bring the donuts over. <laughs> Cause I can't move. No. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got that. Okay, I think the first thing Uh, okay, we might have to- okay, we have to knock her headphones into the- at least we know that. We have to somehow do that. Right, right, this dialogue. Okay, I need her to get- Okay. I kind of wish, though, <laughs> that they'd say- you know how, like, they have, like, the- the dialogue bubbles? <laughs> kind of wish they'd have that instead. So I know, like, oh, I know time is passing. Just give it a second. Oh, let me get up there, actually. Oh! Okay, we did that. Darn. How did I manage to do that? Lynn just bought me those headphones, too. How about if we tell her you did it? Darn, now I can't even listen to music either. I think the gods are playing tricks on me tonight. Forgive me, Miss Camilla. I'm only doing it to save you. So what? Now you think you're one of the gods? <laughs> what? No. <laughs> the important thing is we managed to change the situation. That's true. At least now we can use the little lady's ears to help us. Oh, you get like a boost? Like a freaking checkpoint. Okay, I need the donuts, lady. Girl. Sorry. <laughs> Girl. I'm in the mood for- Okay, here we go. Donuts. Donuts? Okay, I can't even do anything. Okay. The question is, what do we do now? Unless we do something more, the outcome will still be the same. Oh, if only I had big, strong teeth and an aggressive spirit. It doesn't seem like we can stop the hitman from coming in, so in that case- Oh, I have an idea. Why don't we hide her? Oh, hide. That sounds like- <laughs> That sounds like just the kind of idea a little doggy would come up with. Are you making fun of me? Of a where could a little lady hide in this room? Just one little problem. How to get her there? Exactly. If I could possess Camilla herself, the answer would be easy. But I can't do that, so I guess the only way is to lead her there. Okay, I think I have to kick- maybe kick a donut under there? 
Oh, get stop getting in my way. She needs to like knock the donut down. Oh, well, maybe I can do it myself. Rock the bowl. Wait, if I open it though, wouldn't it push it the other way? Oh! Oh, see, it pushed it the other way. Okay, okay. Somehow I have to get a donut to get under there? Oh, I might have to. Okay, push the cart. Push the cart. Oh, oh yeah, if you keep this up, that wall is gonna come down on our heads before we know it. But you'll protect me if anything bad happens, right? Of course I will! That's quite a big promise for a little fellow. The poor little guy's up against some formidable opponents. The man in black and the woman in purple. I forgot this was new dialogue. She didn't have her headphones in. Okay. Oh! Am I really supposed to, like, well, Rube Goldberg it? Um... So somehow I'm going to have to get a donut to... Oh! I'm sorry, I just didn't know- I didn't know what that would do. Oh wait, okay, uh, an ornament fell. Rotate fast. What is this? Oh, I can't reach it. Okay, we need a donut to come down. If you bark like that, how can anybody enjoy the pretty melody? And your poor mistress has to get up and quiet you down every time. Yes, I'm truly embarrassed by my own behavior. Hey, look at that. One of the ornaments fell off. I'm not interested in things like that. I graduated from playing with balls a long time ago. You should try graduating from needless barking, too. Sorry, that's just one thing I could never give up. Okay, so we knocked an ornament out. Okay, what if we rock this bowl? I think we lost our donut. I can't make another donut fall. What do we do? Without that donut, the squeaky guy won't come and I won't bark. Yeah, and the barking part is your favorite, right? Looks like only one donut. Wow. Okay, we better do it after this. Okay, I, I fucked. Okay, luckily there's like mini checkpoints. Thank God. Okay, she's gonna push the donuts. Okay, then we have to move the cart. You think she'll get freaked out if the cart moves by itself? Okay, move the cart. Like she doesn't care. Oh! Oh, she moves to the other side of the- okay. Um, okay, maybe we'll do this again to get the ornament to fall. Okay, we have an ornament. I still need to figure- maybe we could- I still need to know what the heck we're gonna do with this thing. What's this? A painting? Oh, we can rock the painting. I don't know what- Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. And we can... Nope. Oh, we can kick this ball. Or, it's not a ball, it's an ornament. And then what? Also, what is this? It's a music box. I can't reach it, though. Open. And the ball goes underneath. They don't- oh, right, he doesn't care about balls. Wow, you sent that thing flying! I like to tidy up by shoving eye swords under the sofa. Hey, how come when you're how come you're looking at me when you say that? Hey, wait a minute, under the sofa? That might be a spot the hitman wouldn't look. Come to think of it, Miss Camilla climbs under the sofa all the time, trying to catch me. You're a naughty little doggy, aren't you? So my new plan is to hide the little lady under the sofa. 
The only problem now is how do I lead her there? Hmm. Okay, so apparently that's... I guess that's how we're gonna get the donut? Oh shit, I can't move now. Oh, oh! I can't even get to the... Uh. What if I open it? Oh shit, I thought I could... Uh oh! Oh! Oh, thank god. How am I- what is that? It's a music box, but- Okay. Oh, you can rotate it faster. Oh, it's doing something. Oh! Oh, no. Hey, it's too fast. It's too fucking fast. Oh. Okay, turn. Something just fell, and quite dramatically, too. It was a wooden box, kind of heavy. I wonder what it's doing there. I'm just glad it didn't fall on Miss Camilla's head. Me too. We don't need to add to the number of ghosts around here. Let's see. I guess playing it does something. Oh no! <laughs> okay. Ah. Okay, rotate slower. I did the thing. Hmm, so, uh, I'm supposed- okay, maybe I'm supposed- but well, what is this thing supposed- I guess nothing, really. So maybe I should do the thing? But then what- would it bark, like- Hmm. Uh, I can't stop it when it does this. Oh, oh, maybe if I... Oh, I don't know, actually. What was the point of dropping that thing? I don't know. Okay. Oh, there you go. Now it's a pink rat. Okay, I think she needs to get up, maybe? Oh! Oh, damn it, no! Shit, I fucked up! I thought, <laughs> I thought it would let me. What is this music? Maybe this music box doesn't- Oh, fuck, I fucked up. Why do you always give your mistress so much trouble? Yes, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, whenever the donut falls, the rat shows up to check it out, and then you go bark at it. And then our little lady comes to you to quiet it down. Yes, that's just the way things work. So in other words, the donut can be the bait that will lead the little lady to where we want her. I fucked up, though! No! Okay, we're doing it again. We're doing it again! 